Welcome into Nutritious Lifestyle. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you are well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at seven Jamaican herbs that are good for colds and other respiratory illnesses. If you are having any difficulty breathing, stuff up on allergies, here are seven Jamaican herbs you can find almost anywhere in Jamaica to use as a home remedy in your healing. Number one, the leaf of life, a very popular plant. The leaf of life has antihistamine and anti-inflammatory properties that are great for coughs and colds and other respiratory illnesses. The leaf of life can be eaten raw as is or made into a tea, added to your salads, so on and so forth. Number two, Spanish needle. The Spanish needle plant has wonderful anti-inflammatory properties that assist in soothing and healing inflamed respiratory tracts. The Spanish needle can be used raw or cooked in salads, green juices, and smoothies, and along with steamed vegetables. Number three, guaca bush. Guaca is a very popular bush that we usually use for our skin, but it can also be ingested for treatment of colds and flus. Guaca bush is very good for coughs and colds because of its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Guaca can be used, juiced, raw, and added to smoothies. Number four, aloe vera, aka single Bible. Wonderful, amazing, super plant. Almost for everything, it's beneficial. Aloe vera is usually used in cosmetic procedures. Very good for your skin, for brightening skin tones, for tightening your skin, for improving skin elasticity. Great for your hair. But it's also wonderful for ingestion. Aloe vera is best for removing mucus from the lungs and other parts of the body due to its immunostimulative properties that enhances the function of the entire immune system, promoting healing all over. Add diced aloe vera to smoothies, to coconut water, to sweet coconut water and other cool beverages number five moringa moringa is a super food and i shall be doing a video covering moringa alone for you so moringa is a super food that has anti-inflammatory antioxidant and expectorant properties that eradicates and heal nearly all illnesses of the respiratory system okay moringa can be used by juicing or eating the leaves seeds and other parts of the plant do check with your local herbalist for more information or your grandmother your grandfather who knows Number six, rosemary. Rosemary is one of my favorites because of its beautiful aroma and flavor. Rosemary is a powerful Jamaican herb effective in healing breathing illnesses by removing mucus and stimulating the bronchioles. Rosemary has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and stimulative properties that makes it so good for colds and respiratory illnesses. Also wonderful in allergy seasons. Rosemary can be used in tea, juices, or added to savory dishes like sauces and stews. And last but not least, 
Number seven, Pepper Elder. This is one of my favorites as well. I grew up with pepper elder trees in my yard. My father planted them. Whenever we had colds, we would drink some pepper elder tea. And the taste of it is beautiful. It's soothing. Pepper elder is great if you are suffering from common colds. It makes a delicious tea and can also be used in the sauces and stews of savory dishes. Pepper elder has stimulative and anti-inflammatory properties that will eradicate colds and symptoms of colds and flu. A bush, see it grow? Ever like very green, very juicy. I'm gonna pick a leaf so you see green liquid grows by water sides by the river sides usually we use this we find this by the river and we use it to bathe with because it's really good for your skin rub it on your face and it's good for your digestive system good for coughs and colds All the way to aloe vera this is a little aloe vera plant that is here it has been eaten by snails and so it needs to be replaced in location but this is aloe vera good for coughs and colds it's very good to grow in your backyard you can pick up a plant from the plant store or your neighbor might have a bunch of it growing in his yard and he's able to give you a plant good to take care of wonderful for your skin as well it's good for removing mucus from your body and this is one of the seven jamaican herbs or plants that's good for your respiratory well-being <clears throat> here we come to spanish needles lovely day into spanish needle so we find this growing in our yards a lot in jamaica when i was younger when i was a young girl i had a rabbit and I used to, the rabbits used to feed on these. Um, they're very good in tea. So I recently started using this in tea. Very good in tea. Look how beautiful they are. Um, they remind me of my sister Sashi that passed away. You know, Spanish needle. Um, they're good for cancer as well, like for cancers. Um, of the blood. Oh my God! I'm looking at a frog stooped down in the bushes right in front of me, and I am. Oh, I'm kind of... Alright, look. No, I'm going to move. I will move. This is how the frogs hide in the bushes. Can you see it? I don't know. I could have stepped on it. Alright, next we come to Leaf of Life. I love this plant. You can literally use it for everything and anything. If you have any type of sickness you feel true on a Leaf of Life plant, it's going to help to remove bacteria from your stomach if you have digestive issues, clear up a digestive tract. It's wonderful for cough and cold. So if you have that little feeling in your throat, sometimes just eat a leaf. So the leaf looks like it's very thick. And that is it seven jamaican herbs that are good for colds and respiratory illnesses that you can find in your backyard thank you so much for being here and i hope you find inspiration in this message remember to subscribe and share come back for more messages like this one eat well walk good and i'll see you next time much love bye